Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering mechanics. Well, today we're going to take up one more problem and this is going to be based entirely on a C section, you can say, or a channel, you can say. Now, if you've seen my previous videos that was made on Z section, if I'm not wrong, yes. And there was also a problem with the first problem, which was based on an unequal I section. If you've seen those problems, then this one is going to be very easy for you. And if you haven't seen them, I suggest all of you to go back and see those videos and then come back to this one. Now, let, let me give you what the dimensions are. These are the dimensions and let me fit in a coordinate axis, X and Y axis. All right. So essentially, there are three rectangles um, based on which this C section has been made. Let's say this is rectangle one. Let's say this is rectangle two and let's say this is a rectangle three. So essentially, there are three centroids, one over here in the form of c3 there is going to be one more centroid over here in the form of c2 and there is one more centroid this is going to be c1 now individually all the three rectangles will be having their areas and we have to calculate their areas initially now you can clearly see this rectangle is having a width of 5 and a height of 1.5 okay so 5 multiplied by 1.5 is pretty simple that's 7.5 now this rectangle uh, 3 and rectangle 1 are identical so A1 and A3, both of them are going to be same, 7.5 each. Now guys, as far as this rectangle 2 is concerned, its width is known to us. But as far as its height is concerned, that is um, not known to us right now, but we can eventually figure out. So this is the height of that rectangle. Okay, so this from here to here, it's 10. This distance is how much? That's 1.5. This distance is how much? That's 1.5. So essentially you have this 10 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 and that's 10 minus 3 and 10 minus 3 is nothing but 7. So this distance is 7. Now we know this is 7, this is 1.5. 7 multiplied by 1.5 will give you 10.5. Okay, now guys, let's think about the x coordinate. Okay, so this is going to be x1. Let me write over here x1 and this is pretty simple x1 will be equal to half of 5 half of 5 is nothing but 2.5 so let me just write 2.5 now x1 is this and that's x2 let me mark x2 somewhere here okay that's x2 if you watch carefully the value of x2 will be equal to half of this 1.5 and 1.5 divided by 2 which essentially is equal to 0 0.75 so value of x2 it was pretty easy 0 0.75 and then finally we have x3 this is also pretty simple that's x3 and which is actually half of 5 again it's going to be 2.5 all of them have been computed in centimeters now let's go ahead and get the value of y coordinates so this is going to be y1 for you here it is that's y1 okay let me write it over here y1 is going to be half of this 1.5 1.5 over 2 and that's 0. 75 if you write 0 0.75 over here done as far as y2 is concerned this is going to be y2 here here we have the centroid and that is precisely the location of y2 but how can this y2 be calculated now guys watch this carefully this much is 1.5 and how much is this well that has to be worked out from here to here this distance is 7 so half of 7 is 3.5 so 3.5 plus 1.5 will give you 3.5 plus 1.5 will give you the value of y2 which is equal to 5 if i'm not wrong yeah that's 5 and then finally we need to find the value of y3 and let me show you where y3 is that's it that's y3 now guys watch this carefully that's y3 and y3 let's let's start from the bottom this is going to be 1.5 let's let's start with 1.5 and from here till we reach here, that's how much? That's 7. So 1.5 plus 7 plus plus this much, this much. Let me show you this much. And that's 1.5 divided by 2. That's 0 0.75. And let me add 0 0.75. And when you add all of these things, the final value that you're going to get is 9.25. 9.25 all of them in fact in centimeters okay that is pretty much obvious now finally this is the formula that we're going to be applying for calculating the x coordinate okay 
and when you apply this formula when you put in all these values of x1 x2 x3 of a1 a2 a3 the final value of x coordinate of the centroid that you're going to get is 1.78 centimeters this has been approximated to two decimal places or rounded off to two decimal places that's it and then the final value of 5c this is pretty much obvious and this is going to work out as how much this is going to be 5 centimeters you can do the math okay put the values of a1 a2 a3 here and then put the value of y1 y2 y3 is equal to these numbers over here and then finally the value of centroid or the y coordinate of the centroid obtained is going to be 5 centimeters so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update well anyways i'm going to be back with more such videos on mechanics until then it's a wrap this is manas patnak signing off take care have a great day keep learning and thank you